Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another very exciting video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to be finishing up the Breakout Clone game. And over here, as suggested by this video comment over here, we can implement the winning and losing logic as well as the collision sound effect. Thanks for your suggestion. As I said, I am taking suggestion into consideration. So let's take a look at the Breakout Clone game. So first, we have the collision sound effect as well as a scoring system. There's also a winning and losing logic and I am going to show you the losing logic right now. Boom, you lost. So that's pretty much it. I hope you're as excited as I am. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so right here I have uh, Firefox open. You can use uh, any browser of your choice. And if you haven't followed uh, the part 1 video on the Breakout Clone series, but you still want to proceed on this video tutorial, you can always download the starter project that awaits you in my GitHub repo page. Just type in this link. Like so. Oops. Breakout clone. So just type github.com slash btg123, which is my username for my GitHub account, and the breakout clone, which is the name of the repository. So just enter that and then you will have some information about the breakout game what i'm gonna do is to go to this green button over here click clone or download download zip so now uh because i'm using firefox there's a new window pop up i'm gonna save my file and then i'm going to open up in my desktop okay so right now here i have the zip I'm going to click on it and a new folder is extracted from the zip file. I want to move to trash because uh, we don't need the zip file. Open this up, open up the Xcode project and let's open it. Okay, so what I like to do whenever I download Xcode projects from GitHub links, I like to build and run it and just to make sure everything is okay, everything is good to go stuff like that okay so we have a breakout game uh, it's working okay so let's think at how what do we want to improve this game so the first is to implement the win and lose logic the next is to implement a collision sound effect as suggested by the comment shown earlier so i'm gonna quit simulator and let's open up all these folders i'm gonna hit in my game scene.sks file and this is where we are able to set up our scene visually. I'm going to drag a label. Drag it on the exact center. This is, give this a name of score. And in the view hierarchy, the name of this should be changed automatically. I want to change the text to score 0. Click on this T over here just to change the font. Then I'm going to go for Avenue Next, go for Demi Bold, and go for a font size of 64. And now it looks pretty awesome. I'm going to drag this such that it's centralized, like so. Okay, this is good. And because we have given this a name, we are able to use this name so that we can reference it in our code later on. So let's head in back to our code and let's have a variable that will contain all the score. And this is about type int and let's say equal to zero. Then we also want to have a score label. So score label. This score label will be a reference to the uh to this label node over here. Equals to sk actually colon sk label node. And I'm gonna give this score label a value in the video load. I mean in the did move to view function. So over here score label is equals to self dot child node with name. And remember the name that you gave this is a score with a capital S S and SK label node. Like so. Okay. So I'm gonna hit down and in the did begin, okay, whenever the brick is removed from the scene we want to add one to the score so score plus plus and here same thing 
score plus plus. So essentially, these two will just add one to the score. Um, whenever a brick is removed from the scene, and to actually implement the winning logic, we need to override the update function, and the update function is called every single frame. Hence, it is it is the perfect function where we can actually implement our winning logic. So I'm gonna add a comment winning logic and over here I'm gonna say if the score is equal to 9 that means all the bricks have been removed from the scene then first we want to change the score label dot text equals to you won then we want to pause the whole scene so we just set the boolean value of is pause set it to true so now let's build and run it and see how it goes okay so now that we have an error because plus plus is unavailable it has been removed in swift 3 oops i forgot about this new feature of x i mean of swift 3 so let's just uh, make the necessary modifications so let's build and run it and see how it goes So as you can see the label is not updated so let's update the label accordingly okay so here over here in the score you're gonna add a property observer over here let's add two uh, two curly braces and did set we'll add a did set then we'll set the score label dot text equals score using string interpolation to insert the score variable into the string like so so what this is doing is that whenever this score is changed when we add one then it will update the score label which in this case is the label over here so let's try and bear on it and see how it goes boom 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 okay so there we have it we are now having a win logic i'm going to show you the win logic once you hit a score of nine okay so there you have it you have the win logic so now let's implement the lose logic i'm going to add a comment losing logic so the loser logic is implemented when uh, the ball goes past the pedal and we can easily do that by using ball dot position dot y if this is actually less than the pedal dot position dot y then we just want to copy love code over here and change this to you lost So let me just let the ball go past. Boom, you lost and I can't move any of my stuff. Excellent. Okay, so now that we've implemented both the winning and losing logic, the last thing we need to do is to implement a collision sound effect. So you can get this sound effect uh, by heading to the GitHub repo, then download the files and then just extract the audio from the files so i have the audio over here uh, let me just bring that up so as you can see i have uh audio and if i have to play it so that's it so it's a really fast audio and it's appropriate for our project so first i need to click on this audio and drag this into our xcode project finish and boom excellent so first we need to get a reference to the file over here and to do that we need to import av foundation next over here we need to say var audio player of type av audio player with an exclamation point at the back and let's give audio player value so 
uh, audio player equals to AV audio player and as you can see it shows so what I need to do is to wrap this in a do uh, try catch block so let's say do catch print error and then do you want to say audio player equals to try uh, AV audio player and the one with the URL uh, we first need to get a reference to the file over here somewhere here let URL path equals to bundle dot main dot URL for resource and the resource name is brick so let's it's a brick and the extension in this case is wave so let's have in wave boom and the contents would be URL path and because this is an optional we need to add an exclamation point at the back to force unwrap this okay so now that um, we have give this audio player a value we need to preload the buffers of the audio player by calling this function of prepare to play a day begin contact function now here we're going to say audio player dot play over here audio player dot play now let's build on it and see how it goes Okay, there we have it. One more time. Boom! Okay, so now it's working. Not bad, now it's really coming together to be a, a, a game. And we can play this. And if I... Um, yeah, I lost. <clears throat> okay, so I lost. Yeah, okay, so I lost. You can also design more levels if you want. You can like design bricks that require um, the ball to hit it twice before it breaks or uh, something like that. You can organize a second level if you like. So that pretty much concludes the Breakout Clone series. And if you've enjoyed this series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And this is Ben. Peace out.